Hey everybody, welcome back to Daytime York Region. We're so excited because mm -hmm. we're getting ready for the upcoming gala happening on Saturday, February 12th. It's called Light the Darkness, Valentine's Day Dinner and Dance in Support of Foundation Fighting Blindness. We're pleased to welcome Erin George here to the show. Thank she you. is one of the manager of communications for the Foundation Fighting Blindness. And we're also pleased to welcome Vince Lombardi. And Vince is the founder. Thanks so much for coming in today, Thank both you. of you. Thank I also, you. I mean, it's great to have you here as well, Vince, to give your personal story as well because you are also blind so you can give a personal perspective on what this means to you um, how, when did you start looking into starting an or organization well um, through a routine eye examination when I was uh, age 31 mm -hmm. uh, it was I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa and just just to make that simple it's tunnel vision yeah. uh, accompanied by light sensitivity to light and um, darkness mm -hmm. um, because of three children, mm -hmm. there's a possibility that this is hereditary. And that, I guess that was our motivating factor to want to give back and want to do something. Mm -hmm. And uh, 10 years ago with a group of friends and some family, we thought, well, let's have a little gathering at the local restaurant. Maybe we can raise a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, we ended up with 300 people. Come on. And we, wow. haven't, <laughs> and we haven't looked back since. Uh, we've got some loyal, loyal patrons who have been with us all these years. And uh, it, it, it's, it's exciting especially for me because the breakthroughs that have come through in research the last 10 years, and I like to take responsibility for some of that, knowing <laughs> yeah, that I played, I played yeah. that Don't little part. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Right. And, and although, although um, there may not be help for me, uh, but I know that there are young children out there that research is going to help. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and that, that, I think, is one oh. of the biggest motivating factors. Amazing. Well, one of the people your research is going to help is, is Aaron, because Aaron, you also have the same... Is it what science, you, you, right? Retinitis pigmentosa, Perfect. RP, okay. yeah. um, and I'm with the Foundation Fighting Blindness. We're the beneficiaries of this amazing event, the Light the Darkness Valentine's Dinner and Dance that Vince has organized now for 10 years to raise money for vision research. And the mission of the Foundation Fighting Blindness is to find the causes, treatments, and cures for retinal eye diseases like retinitis pigmentosa, but also macular degeneration, um, mm. which is much more common and is affecting our aging population. And over a million Canadians are affected by these types of diseases. Wow. So, so right now, in terms of the research, where are we? Are we, are we making progress or are we... We're at a really exciting a time yeah. right now. The Foundation Fighting Blindness has been funding research discoveries uh, for 30 years now, and those are now being translated into possible treatments for wow. macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, and other related diseases. Uh, we've funded $19 million worth of wow. research over the years. Uh, thanks to amazing fundraisers like Vince's Dinner and Dance this Saturday. And last year alone, we invested $1.4 million in research. Yeah. Wow. Vince, let me ask you, because this is the 10th annual, I mean, what do you credit to being the success behind this event and people continue to come and support it? Um, first, first of all, the volunteers that we have, the committee that puts this together, they're really, really dedicated. And um, um, it's an exciting event. It's yeah. just it's something people feel a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we can tell stories. We've had some fabulous, fabulous guest speakers over the years uh, that have been able to tell their story. And the most touching was uh, a fellow, Dale, who was only one of six in North America who had this gene therapy treatment done down in Florida. And to hear his wow. story uh, it brought tears to a lot of people's eyes. Here's, here's a fellow from the age of 11, 12 who had lost his sight. And after three weeks of this treatment, mm -hmm. the first thing he saw was the color of the sky. And ju just to hear stories like that, and I, I, th I think people are just dedicated to want to come back year mm -hmm. after year. Yeah, we, we have, also some have some pictures. Yeah. Yes, we have some pictures to show, mm -hmm. actually, of, of many different fundraising events that have sort of helped you get to your goal. Um, mm -hmm. I think this is last year's volunteer, or Valentine's Day dance, right? Mm -hmm. Very, and a very good crowd here. Great yes. crowd, yeah. great wow. turnout, and it's perfect time for Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's a great day. We're all looking for something to do on yeah. the weekend, so why not do something that also supports a local <laughs> charity? There's also a picture of um, uh, a cycling event. This looks like... This is Cycle for Sight. This is one of our sight. other signature fundraising events. Uh, cyclists 
ride from Toronto to Collingwood wow. at the end of June. And we have cyclists on tandem bikes as well as cyclists on solo bikes. So that's another great event. Uh, this is just a photo of some of our researchers. Uh, we fund research in Canadian hospitals and universities across the country. Uh, we're funding uh, graduate students all the way yeah. up to uh, um, incredible international Canadian scientists. Uh, this is another signature fundraising event that we have, Ride for Sight. Uh, Ride for Sight uh, motorcyclists have been raising funds for vision research for over 33 years. Wow. So I it's was really say, I've heard of Ride for Sight. That's mm -hmm. a big, big event, isn't uh, it? And this is a photo from last year's Valentine's Dinner and Dance oh. uh, with Vince and his wife and his amazing volunteer committee uh, who make the event possible every year. Wow. Yeah. There are still tickets available to this event, right, Vince? That's yes, right. we can uh, put a few tickets together. Yeah, <laughs> Pull together we'll, we'll, a table. We'll, 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 yeah. yeah, we'll make room. We'll make room. There are tickets available and uh, opportunity there to, uh, to contribute. If any companies out there, mm -hmm. any individual would like to contribute a gift uh, towards our silent auction or raffle, yeah. And of Great course, idea. anybody wish to make a monetary donation, go to the website. Uh, it, it all helps. It all helps. It does. If there it was one helps. thing yeah. that you would want people to know about, about other people, you know, like yourself who are experiencing this, what would that be? <sighs> Don't give up. Mm -hmm. um, we're not any different than anyone else. And uh, as I always say, I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may take me a little longer. I might have to do it a different way, but I can. That's such a and, good uh, and, message. And it's, it's so simple. Thank well you said, so brother. much to you. Thank you so much to you both for coming in today. And we just want to mention the website is ffb.ca. So that's all you have to do. Go to the website, get your tickets yep. for Saturday night. Yep. And don't forget that after the show on rogerstv.com, all of the info about this event will also be on our website. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back with lots more on the show. Thanks.